what is a circular economy model? And she's just going to take us through a couple of examples to bring it to uh, to bring it to life. Yeah. Okay. So we specifically selected these ones to go through because they were the most uh, taken up models within the program period. Product life extension is a great one. You can see great examples like Patagonia, where you originally design your product to last. I mean, think about like your granny's shirts. I'm wearing a granny shirt today that's 70 years old. It's originally created to last um, for as long as possible. And so designed with a high quality in mind. And then also certain other design elements come into play, like Patagonia offers repair on their product, which means even though it's designed to last, it's also designed to be repaired. And that extends the lifespan. Sharing platforms, this one was taken up a lot by the service industry businesses. And so Workshop 17 is a great example of this. It's where you share your space. Um, it can be a virtual space or it can be a physical space, but you share your space with others. And Fotola actually does this. So we have some boardrooms within our office that are not in use most of the week and we rent those out to other businesses to make use of it. So it's making sure that the resource goes as far as possible. Rental models, we all know some examples like Hire It or that classic wedding dress rental service. These are products that could be sold once off and kept in a cupboard forever, like a drill bit that I once bought and I've never used again since I put up one picture. Or it could actually be rented out and continuously used by multiple people. And then it becomes the business's responsibility to maintain that product and repair that product, not yours as the consumer. 